So sorry. Just dab it on the canvas, will you? Not there, man! You've covered up one of her best features. Why? What's she supposed to be? Good gracious, isn't it obvious? Daphne in the nude. <laughs> oh, so it is. Hi, hi. There it is again. I've just been downstairs with the legs. Oh, you mean the spirit of victory? Yes, it's a bore, isn't it? Well, what do you want? Oh, yes, of course, sir. Mr. Blake, I want. Upstairs. Now, if you'll pardon me, I'm inspired. Buzz off. Right, oh. Here, my missus would be very interested when I tell her I met a painter. Not just a painter. A flicking painter. Keep going, feet, and be thankful this ain't the Empire State Building. Oh. Hello. Come in. Here. You're not Mr. Blake. You're more like uh, Daphne. As a matter of fact, I'm Charlie. Yes, I wouldn't be surprised. Mr. Blake lives... I know. Upstairs. It's uh, music concrete, all done by electronics. Uh, sit down, I'll play some more. Look, I'm in a oh, hurry, darling. Wait a minute. Oh! And the same to you. Look, I've had about as much of this madhouse as I can stand. Who's Tony Blake? I am. Well, I've got something for you. Oh, yeah? An eviction order for non payment of rent. And I've got something for you. Your knocker. Yes, thank you. Oh! That's another master gone for a Burton. Beatnik. Peasants. Oh, I nearly got ugly. I hope when they put you out on the pavement, it's snowing. Good morning. I say, will you take a look at that? You think you've got troubles? Why, what's wrong? They're throwing us out. Oh, capitalist swine. Well, something's got to be done. How much money have we got? Fifty quid. Not enough. What other assets? Well, I've got... Yes, I know. But we can't sell those. No, I suppose not. There must be something we can sell. Wait a minute. How long before you finish your nude at Daphne, Arnold? Well, it all depends. If Daphne would only take her clothes off, it'd take about a week. Can't you do it from memory? Certainly not. It's been years. I need a refresher. Here we are. We can sell this. What is it? Stuffed up. They're cheap and quick to make, and we can sell them to the cake shops. Well, wait till you taste it. <laughs> what did you put in it? Toddy, any news about your book on the Loch Ness Monster? They say it's so long since the monster's been seen, the public wouldn't be interested. Why not write to the Times and tell them you've seen it? Charlie, that wouldn't be any good. Charlie, for an idiot, you're the brightest girl I know. Don't ever do it. Now, look, what would happen should the monster be seen again? Your book could sell like stuffed duff. Exactly. And if we should get a photograph of it... What, of the stuffed duff? No, no, the monster. You can't hang around Loch Ness for the next 30 years. We don't have to. We make a monster of our own. Look, I can't explain now. I'll see you later. Anyone for stuffed duff? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, folks. Hello. Hi, Tony. Hey, look what I got from the library. Monsters and their habits. Disgusting. <laughs> hey, can you carve me something to look like a monster's head? Well, don't look at me. <laughs> yeah, but what with? Well, I got some planks and stuff outside. Do your best. See you later. Doesn't say anywhere here that a Lancashire hot pot's supposed to burst into flames. 
Well, I should put the top on anyway. Mm, you don't want the goodness to escape. Well, I've got the boys working. Tony. Tony, I think I've got the opening to my symphony. Now, you just listen to this. It's very nice, Fern, but it'll never get in the top ten. Something's happened to the feedback. Reminds me of the zoo. Like the elephant's mating call. Elephant's mating call? Here! That could be the mating call of a monster. Can you get that sound again? No. I'll try. <laughs> Tell me what I did. Well, keep trying. No, it's no good. <laughs> what a wonderful bottom note! <laughs> no, don't move from that position. <laughs> Can you record that? Well, uh, yes. Stop it behind there, you'll get a shock. Play it back. Stop it behind there, you'll get a shock. Marvellous. Now, will you please tell me what all this is about? For years, people have been claiming they've seen the monster. Well, now they're going to hear it. Hey. Yeah, start packing your gear, you're coming to Loch Ness. Oh, now, now, wait a minute. Well, I can't work all this stuff by myself, can I? Oh, God, I've always wanted to go to Ireland. But you can't come Don't trading... Don't argue, Tony, if Vernon goes, I go. After all, we are engaged. Are we? Of course I keep telling you, Vernon. Do you? When do we leave? Tomorrow afternoon. I'll be ready. Dinner up? <laughs> You just explain to me one thing. What am I doing on the Serpentine Bridge at five o'clock in the morning? You're helping me take a photograph of the Loch Ness Monster, remember? Don't you think you'd better take things easy for a bit? You think I'm crazy, don't you? Yes, I do. Good morning, sir. I suppose you realise the park isn't open yet? Yes. Well, in that case, I'm afraid I shall have to ask you to leave. Well, go on, then. What do you mean? Ask me to leave. Oh. Will you kindly leave the park? No! I will not leave this park! No! Care for a worm? No, thanks. I'm trying to give him up. The clock tipped, you know. Look, how long are you going to stay here? Just long enough to catch a few rainbow trout for me breakfast. Trout? In the serpentine? Of course there's trout in the serpentine. But they're cunning little devils. When you pull them out, they look like roach, but they can't fool me. <laughs> oh, no. But they can't disguise themselves. And why not, may I ask? Well, well, can they? Look, can you disguise yourself? Of course, but they're fish. Of course they're fish. That's why they're in the water, swimming around, swim, 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 in the serpentine. That's why. That's why. You didn't get rid of him, then? No. Well, what now? We'll have to rely on the smoke screen. What? What are they? Smoke bombs. Smoke bombs? But you're not going to let those off here? Of course I am. You can't have a picture of the Loch Ness Monster with Hyde Park in the background. It looked just like early morning mist. Mm. Oh, we better get the head on, then. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Right, get your trousers rolled up. Right. Why? Because you've got to push it out in the middle. Oh, no, no, wait a minute. Come on, hurry up. I'll start the smoke screen. Yeah, I must be wet to let you talk me into things like this. Where's the monster? Oh, he's out there somewhere. There he is, look! Oh, blast! Why, well, didn't you get it? I got one. Never mind, that'll have to do. Right, though, go get it, boy. What do you take me for, a water spaniel? Go on. Oh, 
boy, I got one, I got one. Have you? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. It's a trout. It's a trout. It smells like a smoke trout. Oh, I'll get him in, little darling. <laughs> Three men in a tub. You're supposed to be rubbing my chest. Oh, you'll soon feel better, darling. If ever I had a cold, Mummy always used to use goose grease. <sighs> this isn't goose grease. But it's the nearest I could get. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Loch Ness Monster. Oh. Well, I'm convinced. It's wonderful. Looks exactly like Arnold. Don't be personal. <laughs> now, do you believe we can fool the world the monsters appeared again? Absolutely. Oh, sure. Good. Well, I've got to go and find us a cheap car. Fern, start mm. getting the gear together. Oh. Well, wait, I've got to send Mummy a wire to tell her where I'm going. OK, come on. <laughs> Bless you. If I were you, I'd go and lie down for a while. Oh, I wasn't any good. With all this grease on me, I keep slipping out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> One more journey should do it. Yeah. Cover it up with this. What are you taking that thing for? Well, I always read in bed. They might not have any electricity up there. <laughs> it's a silly question anyway. Oh, by the way, did you send that wire to your mother? Yes, ages ago. Good. Gilbert! Have you done your tie yet? Yes, dear. Excuse me, this just come, Mum. Oh. Oh! Gilbert, it's from Charlotte. Going to Scotland with Vernon. Hope you understand. Wish us luck. Who's Vernon? That terrible boy she wants to marry. Marry? Gretna Green's in Scotland. Do you think she's eloping? That's romantic. Romantic twaddle. We must stop her. Gilbert! There. Where are we going, dear? Chelsea. And drive carefully. Yes, dear. You know some nice little pubs in Chelsea. The driving seat is in the front. Yes, dear. Thanks for having me, fellas. Good luck, and we back a haggis. All right. <laughs> 
Take Jenny. Bye. Bye. Well, they're on their way. Oh, no, don't worry. They'll be back. It's not that. They drove over my poor foot. You're Charlie's mother, aren't you? Yes, where is she? Oh, she's gone, I'm afraid. Gone? Yes. The hearse left about an hour ago. Hearse? Yes. But mind you, we gave her a lovely send-off, you know. Oh. Beautiful flowers, all that. Oh, she's taking a turn. Oh. Oh. Madam, would you like oh. a tablet? Oh, goodness, I'm not a medico. Um, uh, help. Hey, what's going on here? I was just telling her about Charlie. Yeah, which way does she go? We've got to stop her. Heading for Scotland in a hearse. Wait a minute, what am I going to do? Oh, madam, do wake up. Oh, goodness, have I only got my smelling salts with me. Where's my husband? Oh, he's gone too, I'm afraid. He's gone to the same place as Charlie. Oh, oh no! Madam Feathers, oh. I'm allergic to feathers. Oh. oh, policeman ahead. Keep your faces straight. <laughs> it's the only way to travel, isn't it? Well, yes, I did. About an hour ago, yes. Ah, oh, they'll have to catch them. My poor daughter's in it. They've stolen it. Blimey! Body snatchers! Sorry, I didn't realise. It's all right, we're not on business. Where are you going? Scotland. Oh, so are we. Jump in. In the back burn. In the back? Why? Yes, in the back burn. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, you've got everything else. You must have a name. Marie Saint-Georges. Oh, you're French, aren't you? Oui. I'm going on holiday. What is your name? Tony Blake. And that's Charlie. Charlotte, for short. <laughs> and that's Bernard. Hi. Hello. And you're going all the way to Scotland? Yes. <gasps> that's great. Yes, we're going up to Loch Ness to see about all the... Well, what he meant was we're undertakers, you see, and this is our staff outing. Well, you don't look much like undertakers. I think you should say that. Everybody says that about us. Yes, they call us the Merry Morticians. <laughs> Must have taken the wrong turn then. Ah, what's that? Fork right for the knob. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I'm right in it. So we convince everybody the monsters appear, the book sells, and we all go on living in Chelsea. That sounds very good. Hey, could you use some extra help? Well, we could use some extra money. Have you got any? A little. Welcome to the plot. You're in. Hey, look! We're there! Scotland! Edinburgh! Glasgow! Come <laughs> Where 
are we staying at Loch Ness? I hadn't thought about it. Well, a friend told me about a little inn called the Claymore. The Claymore? Yes. She says it's beautiful. What are the owners like? Oh, the nicest, sweetest, kindest people in the world. You're the most crooked, villainous pair of scoundrels in Scotland. I know you've been poaching salmon, and by golly, I'll prove it if it takes the rest of my life. Charming. That's a nice thing to say about somebody, that is. Ah, you can't go around insulting law-abiding citizens. Certainly not. We could have you in court for defamation, mate. I know what I'm doing. We're respectable businessmen, calling us poachers indeed. Well, I'll be watching you. Cheek. Liberty. Yeah. Shove these in the freezer quickly. When's the buyer coming up from London? Some time today, I think. What's he like? I don't know. I haven't met him. I hope he's honest. Me too. But my mate in London says he's a good lad. Well, there it is. Oh, it's beautiful. I say, what a marvellous view. It's lovely. Now, let's check. Marie? I go in and book a room, one at the back, and I don't know you. Why can't we have two rooms? We've only got enough money for one. I've got to use our spare cash for buying drinks, entertaining and so on. Fern? Um, oh, when Marie gets to her room, she opens the window and we pass all the gear up to her. Good. And I'll go in the bar and give the impression I'm a big spender. Right. This is it. <laughs> Okay, Burns, put it round the back. I'll see you around. Ah, good morning. Good morning. I would like a room, please. One at the back. At the back? Oh, well, we have rooms at the back, of course. But would you not prefer one at the front? At the back, please. Well, it'll cost you just the same. Thank you. Perhaps you'd like to register. Believe me, it's a long, hot walk up here just to bring one man his letters. You know, this, this is, is one, one of the, the steepest hills in Scotland. Scotland. Yes, yes. May your kilt never grow shorter. Right. Let's have the letters. Oh, there's no letters today. But it's still a long, hard walk up here. And I thought I was a fiddler. Huh? Have you wait? Morning, sir. Ah, landlord. Hoots, man, and various other Scottish expressions. You just arrived? Yes. Uh, drinks for everyone in the bar. Thank you, sir. I'll have a whiskey. I thought you were leaving. <laughs> Same for you, sir? Yes, I will, thank you. Uh, no, not just at the moment, thank you. Half a gram, thank you. Yeah. Thank may you. your kilt never grow shorter. And may your knees never grow noblier. Well, sir, uh, I know you're a rich English tourist, and I'm only a poor, underpaid, penniless postman. But uh, would you like a drink of me? Oh, would you rather not? Thank you very much. Lennon? Oh, uh, well, uh, oh, there's my wee wife. Uh, you'll have to excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be here tonight, sir? Yes, I look forward to buying you another drink. Bring some of your friends along. Uh, I'll do that. OK. You're going to have the whole of the lock here tonight. That's good. Hello. Is it the Statue of Liberty you think you are? Yes, well, I, I expect you think this is a bit strange, but uh, I, I can explain. You're English, aren't you? Uh, yes. That's explanation enough. You know, I think he thinks we're potty. Ah. Vernon, this is not the place to do your party piece. Ah. <sighs> You up here for a holiday, then? Sort of uh, business and pleasure, you know. Well, you'll be doing a bit of fishing while you're here. Fishing? No, I don't think so. Mind you, there's nothing I like better than some nice fresh salmon. On the other hand, there are much easier ways of getting it than fishing. Yeah, I'm sure there must be. From London, are you? Salmon? Yeah. That must be his hearse round the side. Hearse? Ah, uh -huh. Well, I mean, that's brilliant, isn't it? Who'd ever think of looking for him in a hearse? Oh, there's no doubt we're dealing with very clever people. Yeah, you're going to tip to the bar. I'll load the fish. Come on, Grace. All right, Mr. Harry. Come on, here. Oh. Take it steady. Oh, oh hang on, Vern. Right. I'm going to fall. Oh. 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 Come on. Oh, come on. Just take it nice and easy. Oh, right. Come on. 
If you want to get fresh with me, Vernon, wait till I'm in the room. Just another couple. Oh, wait. Yeah. Get another load. There we go. Here's a little one. Uh. You're a big help. Oh, hi. Yeah. Uh-uh. You're a big girl, too. <laughs> bought a load of salmon, have you? The hearse is full of them. Salmon? Can't be salmon, they're out of season. Well, in that case, they're probably poached. Poached? But what if somebody should find them? They're putting some more in. What? Hey, I'm not having this. No, Tommy. You're not supposed to be here. Oh, no. Wait till they finish. One more. There we are, it's a lot. Cover them up. It didn't hurt, did it? Take <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 I'll bring the sergeant. Right, he's gone. Come on, quick. Have you seen the hearse pass this way? Aye, that's one up at the hotel ahead. Are you interested in what's in the hearse then? Oh, very, but uh, I don't want the police to interfere. It's purely a private matter. Good morning. Private, is it? We'll see about that. <laughs> Blimey, what's this? Boat race night? Ah, oh, landlord. What do you know about that hearse outside? Hearse? Yes, hearse. Oh, uh, nothing, sir. The driver's gone for a walk, I think. Ah, oh, then I'll wait. Give us a bottle of scotch, will you? Did it take away? Yeah, no, to drink here. Well, what are we going to do with them? I don't know, but let's get them out of here. Hey, Alvern, this will do. We'll put them in there. That's better. Do me a favour, will you? Fill my hip flask up for me. Certainly, mate. Thank you. <laughs> there, that's the lot. Right, let's get back upstairs. I hope this isn't a wild goose chase. Ah, well, you'll see. There. Here. I smelt them with my own nose. Doon, you idiot. I only wish you had a higher rank so I could demote you. 
But Sarge, I'll tell you. You great loon, you gasping dope. Sarge! They're here. Will, Will, Will. Aye, well, I told you, didn't I? <laughs> well, who's the idiot now? Who's the daft big dope now? Oh, it's just lucky you got a hooter like a bloodhound. We'll go and have a word with the owner of the car. Aye, yes. Mr. Jimmy! There he is, that's him. Good day, Jeff. What are you going to have? We're on duty. Is that your car outside, sir? Yes. Well, then I'd like to ask you a few questions. Aye, and remember, anything you say may be taken down. Trousers. He said, and I said, trousers. <laughs> I've been wasting all my life for a place. Would you say that to me? Perhaps, sir, you'd be kind enough to accompany us to your car and explain how it came to be filled with salmon. Salmon? Come along, sir. Oh, wait a minute. You can't go looking in people's cars. Of course. It's the loud ball. It's, uh, it's not right. That's right. Just a minute, old soul. I had your man's arrest. I had your man's arrest. Anyway, I don't like policemen. I tell you, there's absolutely nothing in my car. Then how do you account for this? What? There's something funny going on here. Funny? I'm laughing my bloomin' head off, mate. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Listen, a car full of salmon can't just vanish into thin air. No, you're right. It must be around here somewhere. The police! Oh, for crying out loud! <laughs> they were in the car and the house. Ah, I saw them myself. So why don't we work it out by a process of reduction? Oh, thank heavens for that. Oh, shall I put them back in the freezer? No, no, no. If the police come back, that's the first place they'll look. Oh. Now I must think of some place else to hide them. Oh, where, though? I know. We'll stick them in one of the bedrooms. <sighs> yeah, that's it. Good. Let's get some rest whilst we can. Yes. I'm quite tired. In here, Mr. Dewey. Oh, that one. That one's taken. Oh. Along in number five. Somebody's coming. Quick, outside. There's something out there. I tell you, it's around here somewhere. Oh, I'm going to have to run around. I don't know what myself. They're just standing there. Hurry. I'll pretend I'm getting ready for a bath. That'll keep them out. It wouldn't keep me out. Oh, Charlie. Yeah, here goes That's funny. What's funny? There's a man down there who looks exactly like Daddy. Oh, really? Hmm. Got a car like Daddy, too. It is Daddy. I thought it was. And what's he doing here? If I know him, he's most probably making a personal appearance to the distilleries. <gasps> Crikey. What? What if he thinks we run away together? Well, then, don't let him see you. Get down. Vernon. <laughs> You can come out now. They've gone. I said you can come out. And we're not finished with you yet. It's persecution. That's what it is. I'll have the law on you. We're on to something here. I think we'll keep it under surveillance. I've got a better idea. Why don't we keep a watch on the place? Well, that's it. I would love to get my head down for an hour. Well, it'll be comfortable then, is it? <laughs> Excuse me, I don't like to complain. That room seems to be occupied by a family of fish. Fish? You're joking. Oh, you must have been seeing things. Yes, come on, come on. Now, just a minute. I'll come tell on. you what I saw. Yes, all right, mate. Now, you'll be all right in here. Excuse me. I've been trying to tell you, the real buyer rang up. He's been delayed. 
Oh, no. Now what? Stop it behind me, you'll get a shock. Hey, that's me. It's just after that we have the track of the monster. Third. Hmm? Here a minute. Look. The castle seems as good a place as any to park the loudspeaker. You got enough cable to reach that? Oh, yeah, sure. Well, um, I'll run down with the wire and come back for the speaker. Charlie, you hang on to that. OK. Now, keep out of sight as much as possible, Vern, will you? Off you go. Ah. ah, how do you do? Lovely evening. Perhaps you'd tell me what you're doing, sir. Well, I'm walking, pulling their wire. I love walking. That wouldn't it be a fishing line you're taking down to the lock, would it? This? Oh, well, no, actually, this is a... Well, you see, I have a terrible sense of direction. I'm always getting lost. Uh. Never go out without it. And if I get lost, I just have to follow it back again. Very clever. No, where, where's the hotel gone? Ah, there it is. Nearly lost again, you see. Oh, well. It's a war of nerves, Sarge, but I think they're beginning to crack. That one certainly is. Come on. Tony, there's a couple of policemen outside. I can't lay the cable till they're out of the way. Oh, we haven't got much time either. Wait a minute, I know. We'll draw them off. Come on, Marie. Now, as soon as you see the coppers move off, get your cable laid, right? Right. What are we going to do? <laughs> Look. That's Tony Blake. If he's here, so shall he. Luke. Let's follow them. Right. Look. There's something big going on tonight. Come on. They're still after us. I think it's about time we lost them. Okay. In here, quick. Just give them a minute. Is it safe now? Yes. I'm not so sure you are, though. Let me get this one. Perhaps you'll all join me. Oh, Hello, Vern. <laughs> well, I've uh, fixed the speaker, but how do I know when to start? I'll wave to Charlie, then she'll let you know. All right? Come on, Charlie. Good boy. Charlie? Well, here's to you, Mr. Uh, what do you say your name was, sir? Blake. Here's to Mr. Blake. Uh, Here you go, Here you go. Quite clear? Yes. No, no, Charlie, that way. And with my own eyes, I saw him drink eight bottles of whiskey. And the following morning, he had no hangover at all. <laughs> <laughs> 
Who was that? He was still unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you ruined the story. <laughs> well, you never stop telling it. Mind you, there's some fair old drinkers in England. No, I don't doubt it. The only difference is that down there they see pink elephants. Up here you see monsters. Are you suggesting the monster isn't real? Well, let's face it, in this day and age, a monster. Oh, Mr. Bleak, it's real. Why, there are men in this very room that have seen it. Ah, oh, and I'm one of them. Three times I've seen the beast, eh? Right, oh, tell them about the it Well, if you say so, but... Ah, I do say so. And a terrible sight it was. A yellow mist hung over the waters. And a great brooding silence filled the law. Go on, what then? Charlie, the signal! The signal! Now! No breath of wind stirred the air. And as I looked towards the black waters, I saw it. Its terrible head rising slowly and turning towards me. Its jaws open. Oh, blimey, what was that? What the deal is it? Heaven help us. It sounded terrible, fierce. You don't think it was the... Aye, sir. You've heard the Loch Ness Monster. Jimmy, I need a drink. We all do. And I'm paying. And that's something else that hasn't been heard before. What the devil is that? I don't know. Had we not better get after our man now? Oh, yes, well, uh, I... You better get after him. Are you not coming? Well, no, no, I'd better get back to the station. Well, you carry on. Do you know now? There's no duty to put it. It was Nessie, all right. Aye, it was herself. You should have kept the bar open, Harry. You're joking. It's against the law. You go to bed. ta -da. Good night. It was marvellous. Did you see Posty's face? It was a picture. She's gone upstairs with him. Aye. Oh, did you ever see anything so brazen? Have well, we given the place a bad name? It's not that that worries me. She's only paying for a single room. And they really thought it was a monster? Yes, they're certain. Certainly scared the pants off me. Charlie, don't exaggerate. Why? Well, never mind. Well, anyway, that's the first part of it. Let's get some sleep, shall we? Boy, can I do with it? Uh, who is it? It's only me, miss. Uh, can I come in for a moment? Certainly not. Uh, what did you say? Just a minute. I'm getting ready for bed. Are you respectable? Of course, I'm respectable. <coughs> yes? Well? It's uh, just that I wondered if you'd like your breakfast in bed tomorrow. Oh, yes, that would be fine. Say five o'clock? Five. I suppose you know best. What are you doing? It's safer like this. You wouldn't like any monsters climbing in now, would you? Ah! Oh! <laughs> Good night, miss. It's been nice seeing you. Mary, open up. This is a big help. I'm sorry, darling. Never mind. See you in the morning. Good night. Good night. Thanks. Well, what are we going to do now? Don't worry. There must be some kind person who will put us up for the night. Come on. What? Scales are ready. I'm very sorry. 
Come on, Lorna. It's busier here than Socky Hall Street on a Saturday night. I don't think we'll be disturbed here, Lorna. I hope not. I never touched you, Lorna. I never said you did. Why can't we get rooms at the Claymore? Because we haven't got enough money, that's why. Ah, oh, good evening, sir. We're hikers and we wondered if we could stay here tonight. Ah, uh, you're welcome. No, uh, we meant inside. Oh, why didn't you say so? Come in. Thank you. It's very kind of you, sir. Oh, what a charming little place you've got here. I'm a McDonald. You're no Campbells, are you? No, no. Terrible people, the Campbells. Terrible people. Who have been feuding with them for centuries. I hate them, do you hear me? I hate them! Oh, but you're no Campbells, you say? No, we're no, uh, uh, not. I'll take you to your beds. The married couple can sleep in there. Uh, you'll have to share a bed with me, laddie. Uh -huh. Hey, I can't go in there with Charlie. Well, she can't go in there with McDonald. Get in. Well... Here we are. Yes. <clears throat> well, uh, you take the bed. I'll, uh, I'll sleep in here on this chair. Oh, no. You've been doing all the running about, Vernon. You have the bed. No, no, no. That's all right. I'll be quite comfortable here. It's a lovely bed, Vernon. Good. I'm, I'm very glad. Come and try it. Hmm? How long have they been married? No, well, they're not. What? Long, not long. Oh, oh, I see. You'd better sleep up against the wall, Eddie. Oh, all right. Are you comfortable? Yes, thanks. Poor must have been all day. Well, good night. Good night. I can't sleep here. Oh, Vernon. But look, Vernon. No, no, no. I'm done, boys. Oh. Whatever you're doing, stop it. We're leaving. What's happening? Where are we going? I don't know. A hotel full of empty rooms and... Here, wait. What? That window next to Mary's. Leave this to me. Blast, it's locked. Oh, wait, Mary, she can open it. Mary. 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 
What is it, Tony? Nip into the next room and unlock the window. All right. Somebody trying to knock off our salmon. Thieving swines. I'll go down next to the front door's locked. Yeah. I'll check the back. Here. The front door wasn't locked. I know I locked it. Well, you couldn't have done because it was open. Do you think there's any funny business going on in there? Oh, no. She's a nice wee lassie. Is she? I think we'd better stay up for a bit. I'll go and get us a drink. I could do one. Five o'clock, miss. I've brought you breakfast. It's a lovely morning. Are you awake, miss? <coughs> Would you like your tray in your bed? <coughs> Are you sure you're all right? Um, uh, tray door, thank you. Ah, well, don't let your tea get cold. Will you be taking a bath? Very well. Tony! Uh, Tony! Uh, you can come up now. Oh. Come on, girls. I'll never look another packet of frozen food in the face again. I had a terrible night. You're joking, of course. Well, we all feel better when we've had some tea. Oh. We can always add water. And there's still the food. Food. Oh. Shall I carve, old chap? Food. I've got to have food. All right, then. <laughs> steady on, steady on. Tony, I'm starving. All right, all right. Just hang on a second while I share it out. I'll tell you what, give the locals a quick blast of the monster while I'm doing it. Oh, all right. Oh, I'm hungry. more blast of the months to make sure everybody's heard it. Thanks. Shambled and ready for you! Cheers, Nyavondra! I still don't see why you have to go through all this bit with the camera. Charlie. Because if the locals think they see me taking a picture, they'll have no doubts when we show them the photo we took at the Serpentine. Do you understand? No, but don't explain anymore. You'll confuse me. Vern! Come on, hurry up. Mary will have the crowd down here in a minute. I'm being as quick as I can. Is it cold, Vernon? I don't know. I've lost all sense of feeling. Oh, you're doing fine, Vern. Are they all right? 
I don't know. The monster's supposed to be fairly heavy. The footprints would be a bit deeper than that. How would it be if I climbed on Vern's back? That would make him heavier. There's a good idea, Charlie. Oh, no, no, wait a minute. Right. Oh, no, no, please, don't. Oh. 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 That's better. It's all right for you. Now, you sure you're all right? Perfectly. It's no trouble at all. Good. Off you go, then, Vern. Come oh, on, come on. Really? Now, keep along the edge of the lock. Whenever you come to a sandy beach, step ashore. Tony, they're coming. Many of them. They will see Vern on you. Vern! Get out! I'm going as fast as I can. Never mind. Get out! Oh, good. Right, here we go. Have you seen anything? Out there, look. Where? Where? Out in the mist. You better right take my hub, bloody. This is sure. I, I can see it. There it is. You're right, Jamie. Yons, it's heat kicking up. Ah, oh, look, it's going down. No, no, it's still there. I see it. Oh, look at the sight. Oh, man, it's huge. I can't see a thing. Aye, it's away all right. Yes, it's a pity you weren't here a bit earlier, Posty. You would have seen it. I did so see it. Oh. Yes, but it was a bit misty out there. Aye, but there was no mistaking it. It was the beastie without a doubt. Now, do you think the monster's an old wife's tail, Mr. Blake? No, no, I'm convinced now. I'm sorry I doubted you. That's better. In fact, I've even got a picture of it. <coughs> what, what in the name of the was that? What is it? What's the matter? It's, 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 you nearly made me believe there was something out there. Very good. Well, I had psychology on my side. They wanted to see something. Shh, they're coming. Man, I've never seen anything like it. Oh. No. Did you say you had a 40, Mr. Blake? Yes. I'm just going back to the hotel to develop it. Are you coming? Aye, Aye. Come on up. Enough. Let's try sitting down. Oh. Why don't you treat me more gently, Vernon? Good heavens, a flying fish. Sorry, sir. No, we're quite full up. I said no. I don't care if you're the Prime Minister. Oh, I, I beg your pardon, Mr. McMillan, but we really are full up. Hmm. Hey, what's going on here? We're getting ready for the tourist train. Eh? We're going to make a fortune, and all it costs is mud, weed and water. Look at that. Good, isn't it? Uh, but I think you might have phrased it better. Oh, never mind about that. This is just the beginning. What are you going to charge? 30 bob each. Tell them back on the bottle. You'll know by this time, I expect, that the famous Loch Ness monster has been seen again. I've hurried up here to the spot to find excitement tense. And I'm hoping to talk to some of the people who actually saw the beast. I saw the whole thing very clearly. Well, as a matter of fact, I got the best view of the beastie. Hello, they're starting to punch up. But they're going mad. Look at that. 
Does your art good, doesn't it? Nothing like a right old punch up or working up a thirst. Well, it's good for business, isn't it? Good? It's marvelous, mate. Oh, give the man a chance. Give him a chance. But there's more than just excitement here today in the quiet shores of Loch Ness. There's a sobering sense of foreboding as people remember the... A sobering sense of foreboding as people remember the ancient prophecy that the appearance of the monster spells doom and disaster. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You're doing a great job out there, Mr. Mitchell Moore. Get in there. See that? They're loving it. Everybody's going to make a fortune. These peaceful country folk beneath their Celtic reserve are full of fears for the future. So much for fact, they're not the only ones. All we need now is that photo to clinch it. Yeah. Well, how long's it going to be? Well, it won't be long. It's in the tank now. Great, great, boy. We'll give them another half now, then we'll let them see it. Right. I hope Vanna and Charlie get back in time. I wouldn't like them to miss it. All right, Charlie? Yes. <gasps> Good afternoon. <laughs> Way. Quick, quick! Did you see the monster? Never mind what I saw. Keep moving. Oh. They seem to be drying out nicely, Charlie. They should be ready. In... Oh, no. Where'd you put the photograph, love? It's on the table. I can't see it. That's where I put it. Strange. Trail pockets. Look in your handbag. It's not here. Maybe it's in the wardrobe. No. I'll try the dressing table. Right. Well, gentlemen, it's nearly four o'clock. And the bar's been closed for an hour. <laughs> hey, what time do I say the picture be ready? That's just what I mean. Four o'clock. Right, let's go. I'm dying to see this. Right, so am I. Come in. Must be good on in here. Oh, never mind about that. Got the picture? Oh, the picture, yes. Oh, good. Where is it? Uh, well, I'm afraid I've got a bit of a disappointment for you. You see, it didn't come out. It didn't come out? No. What do you mean, it didn't come out? You said that you had a perfect picture. Yeah, well, I thought it was. Blimey, we've all been counting on this. Well, I'm sorry. And you should be. Well, you know, what can I say? You ought to be ashamed of yourself getting us all worked up and excited for nothing. Well, uh, The people are going to be very sorry about this. It would have attracted a lot of trade to the district. Well, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Look, I know what I'll do. I'll get another one. It says it didn't come out. But I don't believe he got one. No. Ah, just another big rumour. Right? See you in the morning. Sorry, Jets. How about doing a write-up on the hotel while you're here? No, no news value. You'd be amazed what goes on here, mate. <laughs> Pity about the picture. We could keep this going for days. Aye, yeah, I will. So long. Cheers. The boom didn't last very long, did it? Yeah, well, back to water in the scotch. <sighs> you poor wee things. How long have you been wandering? Well, it feels like a month, but it's probably only a couple of weeks. Aye, aye, well, you must get dry before you put your clothes on. Would you look at that? What is it? It's those two again. Constable Doon and a man in evening dress. They've been chasing around the lock all day. I thought I'd lost it about that. No, I, I was following the trail of empty hip flasks. All right, I'll give up. What's the charge? The charge is... You broke? <laughs> I can't think of one. <laughs> oh, I know I was upset myself. <laughs> Have a drink. You know, Charlie, I never noticed before but you're very pretty. A little effeminate, perhaps, but very pretty. Darling, 
I didn't think you even realized I was a girl. Oh, yes, I did. But this is the north of Scotland. Oh, pretend you got lost. I nearly did. Cheer up, Tony. Cheer up, she says. <laughs> and now the time has come for a new song with the title, The Time Has Come. And it's sung by your one and only, Eden Charity. He's all I need. I like him. The big knit. The time has come for me to hang my head in shame the time has come for me to say that i'm to blame the time has come for love's return but it won't be the same oh please believe me i won't make the same mistake again the time has come to end this a voice like that and he's making a fortune. I'll be repeating the past, so here am I to ask if you can still forgive. If you can try, the time has come for love to live with no mistakes. But take my word that love won't be the same. Oh, please believe me, I won't make the same mistakes again. Oh, please believe me, I won't make the same mistakes again. You should take up singing. Well, he gets away with murder, doesn't he? You get away with it, too. Yeah, well, I... Get away with it. Why not? What do you mean? Yes, we've still got a chance. If we can make something look like a monster on a serpent tongue, we can do it on Loch Ness. Get another picture, you mean? Yes. Now, wouldn't we need planks, inner tubes? Oh, we can do it. Tony! Tony, the picture. It was in my pocket. Oh, marvellous. But it's ruined. Oh, I say, I'm terribly sorry. Well, never mind. As soon as it gets dark, we're going to make a new monster. Oh, I suppose that means I have to go in the water again. Would you, pal? Thanks. Oh, now, look. Here's your trousers. It's hardly worthwhile putting them on. How are you doing, Charlie? It's off. I don't know what Daddy's going to say, though. Well, he shouldn't be driving a car anyway. Hey, look what we've found. Just the job for the monster's head. Yeah. Is it big enough? On a photo, yes. Aren't you clever? Come on, let's get busy. See if the coast is clear, Charlie. Right. right. Come on. Come on. Charlie! Daddy! Hey, quick! Come on up to them. The gaming on is, I'll have to put my foot down. You're not nervous, eh? Why should I be? Eh? That's funny. 
presents. I'm sure they were there when I left London. Did you get it out all right, Vern? Yes, I did. But in the morning, you can go out and pull it in for yourself. What's the matter, Vernon? What's the matter? I promise you my feet are getting webbed. Ah, uh, never mind. It'll be dawn in a couple of hours. We'll get a picture and it'll all be over. What are we going to do for a couple of hours? Vernon, behave! Here we are. Have a look at this. <gasps> She's better than the first one. I'll say it is. This should do the trick. There are crowds of people outside. I say, that's marvellous. Come on, let's go and show. Right. Tony! No, not now, Charlie. Tony! What's wrong? Gentlemen, look, I've got it. A perfect picture of the Loch Ness Monster. Your troubles are over. They've only just started, mate. What? I don't understand. Everybody in the district had the same idea as you. Look. What happened? They've all been at it. Everybody's made one. It's all your fault. You started all this. Oh, now listen, fellas. Now, wait a minute. You know something? Everything was going lovely till you arrived. Now, lads. Lads, stomach about. Hey, lads! Hey, lads! Have a look at this. Get I'll tell you what that is. That's a loudspeaker, that Aye. is. It was down in the castle. And the wire leads right up here to the Claymore. Well? Well, well, fancy that. So you thought you'd hoax us all? Oh, well, I mean, it's only a gang, He's gentlemen. probably a damned Campbell. We were fine when you started your nonsense. Now, one minute, fellas. Hang on. Right, boys, let's tip them in the lock. <laughs> Tony is now. The speed he was going, he's probably in Newcastle. I hope he's all right. So do I. Mary's been looking everywhere for him. I shan't be sorry to get back, really. Still, it is beautiful here. Ah! Hey! What a horrible death for a drinker. Quick, let's get him out. Have an old ham sandwich. No, thank you. Oh, go on. There's 300 weight of them in the kitchen. Oh, blimey. Are you Sutton? Yeah. Sorry, I'm late, mate. I had a breakdown. I've come for the salmon. The salmon? I've forgotten about the salmon. We're all right. Oh, mister, you're a welcome sight, I can tell you. I'll get the fish for you now. Where's the jar? Out the front. You stick the fish in the car, I'll look after him, eh? Good. In the meantime, can you get me something to eat? I'm starving hungry. He's starving, starving hungry. hungry. Come here, mate. Come here, mate. Oh, but, Daddy, I tell you, we want to get married. We'll phone your mother up and see what she's got to say about it. Oh. Over right here. Tell her we want to get married. Your mother says on no account am I to let you get married, definitely. Mummy, you must let us get married. Bernard proposed. When? Last night. We were in the Crofters cottage, and Vernon was just going to put his trousers on, and... She said, on no account are you to come back to London unless you are married. Marie! We're going to get married. I'm very happy for you. This calls for a celebration. I, I wish Tony were here. I don't know where he is. There we are, then. Yeah. Ah, well, they're all loaded up. Right, then I'll be off. Yeah. Cheers. Mm. Wait a minute. This isn't your car. What do you mean? Oh. You didn't. I did. You stopped you. Thank you. You're welcome.
Arkham Hamish McSporran. I've come to put this place on the map. Jimmy, Jimmy on the map already. Aye. Have you heard of Tory Blake? Aye, yeah, we've had him already. Aye. Ah, brilliant young man with a marvellous brain. Oh, he gave me the idea. What idea? To make this place into a tourist centre. Tourists? Aye, millions of them coming to see the beastie. Ah, I can see it now. We'll have a, a 30-storey hotel about there. And I think we'll have an airfield about there. Ah, well, I'd best be getting busy now. Have you seen a young lady who was with Mr Blake? She's going to be my secretary. Tony! Tony, darling, are you oh, all right? There's no way for a second. Oh! It's him! Mr Blake himself. Now we've got your mate. Look, into the lock with him. Hi, come on! Hi. Hi.